Welcome to Azure Lane Meta. Today we're going to be talking about the maintenance that's occurring on December 26th. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be talking about the new update. So while this loads up, like we always do, we're going to take a short look based on the contents that Azure Lane Yostar has provided us. So here we go. We look and we get a new event. The first one is going to be a rerun event uh, for the SideNet skin. Then we have a New Year's Blessings, which is actually interesting. When we complete it, we're going to be supposedly getting one of the possible ships. Warspite, Illustrious, Zukaku, Shokaku, Montpelier, Atago, or Hood. Finally, we get Kinu's New Year Training, which looks like will be a skin for one of the new ships that becomes available. We also have a login bonus where we get Belfast. We have a new characters for the new event in the limited build that will last until January 8th. There are five characters in the construction build. We're going to have one character, Hibiki, which is going to be accumulation build. We have two characters that are, in addition to being in the limited construction, will be in the exchange shop. And then we have a new January check-in uh, ship that will be added to the game as well. We get two new retrofits, uh, one of them being Yubari. So if you guys want to check out my other video on why Yubari would be good for grinding some of the new PR2 ships, you can do that. Obviously, those two skins listed there are going to be based on, for SideNet and Kinu are going to be based on the events. Then we get a bunch of limited time skins. These are beautiful. In addition to that, we get two new O skins for Kawakazi and Laffy. Rip Z23. Maybe someday. We get rerun skins for skins from last year that are applicable to the season. Then we get some skins that are added to the permanent field that will be available at any time. We get new furniture called the Shrine Visit Eve. Uh, so that should be interesting. We get a rerun of the Boar Feast, and Sakura Empire Shogatsu is added permanently. Both are going to be discounted 20%. We get some new items in the cash shop, and some updates to some of the other skins and CVs. And then we get some system op optimizations, which are kind of interesting. One of them is that strikes slash ambushes are going to be eliminated from hard modes that you have cleared completely so that should save you a little bit of oil and frustration and then we are going to have a new feature that will allow you to begin the battle without confirming lineup so that should save some time for some of the people who want to grind quickly so we'll see how that works and then we have some new character chibi images optimization we'll see how that looks and we'll see also what the new text display for oath interface 
looks like as well. And then as always, uh, we're going to get a maintenance compensation, but this won't include gems. And I guess we're, we're losing the Christmas storm food going back to Naval Curry. So without further ado, let's go ahead back into see what we can see in the game. Welcome back, guys. So here we are. We're finally back into the game, and we log in. New load screen, as always. So we get our login for the day, and let's look at the events. Swirling cherry blossoms. So this is the participate, and you collect this little item, and you earn rewards. And this is the major one, so we'll go to that one in a second here. Time event, so this uh, is the one that you get Hibiki with, that is a collection. So if we take a look at um, the rewards that we can get for that, it is pretty standard, nothing too big. The 10,000 reward gives you the, the item. We get some of the alls, so for the decisive ships, so it kind of is important if you guys want to do PR2 and get those ships up to development level 30 as quick as possible that's kind of important new year's blessings okay so oh it's the rerun so basically we just draw out of this um seven times and and we get the skin and our reward is some small resource gains here if we just log in blessings and tidings uh, so this one, we make a donation to the shrine. We collect seven blessings to earn a limited item. And then this is the one that allows you to get the one of the, the SR ships that you pick, one of the old ones. Let's see. Let's, let's go do that. Ah, okay. So this reminds me of that summer event a lot um, where there is academic success, marital bliss, uh, career success, I think, and they give different stat boosts or uh, bonuses. So maybe there's, oh, this will tell us. Look at that rating. Look at that. Damage bonus in the main story for skills for the career one. Education reduces the time in the tactical academy, so it wasn't wasn't what I said earlier. And then um, mm, oh, the romance they call it different. Uh, secretaryship boosts faster. Okay, I wasn't successful here while I was recording, but. Um, Actually, yeah, this is really cool. So this is the whole shrine. Uh, the next one is the outfit store. Let's do the New Year's challenge, I guess, because it has an exclamation mark. Within the allotted time, tap the corresponding colors in order, in the correct order. Oh, OK. OK. Complete the game every day to get rewards, so you should do this this looks like good all right so that was the rules wow okay that cat <laughs> kino new new year's training okay this is the other event that they were talking about all right let's see how good we are so we got cube gem lettuce tomato oh oh okay what you have to do is you got to go to this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All right. So we're okay. That was, that was bad. We had to learn how to do it. So hopefully your first one won't be as bad. It looks like just a participation game. If you just like do anything remotely related to the game, you'll be fine. So this is basically how you play and you just, Hopefully this is not like the one where, you, like, when they did during the summer event, they have you, like, go forever until you until you basically mess up. <laughs> I 
no, this one, the time left keeps going down, so it looks like we'll eventually lose it. Ooh, that was that was close. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the last one. All right, do we get one more in here before the time expires? Come on, we can do it. Oh yeah. Oh, it does count it at the buzzer beater. All right, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat that. Fifty-five. If you guys can beat that, comment below with what you got. I don't. I don't know how you get that much higher. I. I mean, I guess I could have gone faster. Maybe. Okay. Uh, construction. All right, let's do the outfit store first, and then we'll go to we'll go to construction. All right. So all the new skins we got: Kinu and sign at these are from from the event so you can't buy them then we get uh no shiru no shiro um i'm super excited to see what her actual stats and skills are because she's a torpedo based cruiser for ijan so potentially pretty good this uh she could be good as well she's also like in cross waves so you'd think they'd make her powerful She's a light carrier, so maybe she'll surprise us, but I'm guessing she won't be too good. And then, oh, Nagato gets new skin. Her ears look like they got bigger. I, like, like they just look like her ears are are bigger, but like the skin. Um, okay, this is the, the ship that you can get from the accumulation wards. Oh, unicorn. This, I like this. Okay, that's nice. Z thirty-five. And then we get new ones. Oh, there's the Ainami skin. <laughs> More Ainami skins. I think uh I think we found Yostar's favorite. That's okay. Southampton, Cleveland. This girl reminds me of Le Malin, so I don't know why. Like I know she has ears and it's all different, but she just does. Arc Royal. <laughs> uh, I like that skin. And then Mount Pillier's skin is fantastic. If you are a Mount Pillier skin fan, this looks like a must get. Um, like, that's just beautiful. And I think. Oh, these are the reruns. We got Eldridge, Ibuki. This is a pretty skin. So, for those of you who need that one. Zumo, Prince of Wales. Wow, she looks like um, she looks like the KMS ship in that attire. St. Louis. These are okay. These are all still new. Wow, we got a lot of skins. Helena, Otago. These, like I said, these are all reruns. She does not look like herself in this one. Um, oh, sorry, we got got a rerun here. And these, I think, are the permanently added ones. The Akagi, Kaga, Laffy, Akashi. So those are now, like, permanently available. Udachi, Neptune. Yeah, and I think now we've moved back into the... They're not old because they're still, like, time-loaded for a week. So pick them up, but they're the ones that were from the last update. But So if you guys didn't pick them up from the last update, you got one more week to pick them up. So those are the skin shop that we got here. Now let's go to the construction shop, and we'll build some, I think. I think I have a little bit of space. So 626 cubes for this event. So, and pretty much it was it was for this event, and I really hope I pulled the Noshiru here on on stream. That would be fantastic. I don't know what their build times are at all. I did not look them up. Um, or yeah, I don't even know if we know what their build times are yet. But probably not these. All right, let's finish them all. Yeah, let's do it. All right, starting off really strong, really strong. Oh, pulled it. Okay, there we go. Pulled it right off the bat. That's nice. Um, yeah, cool. 
we'll uh <laughs> we'll see what her she looks like. That's sweet. All right, what do we got skill wise? Every twenty seconds, seventy percent chance to fire a special barrage based on skills level. While in an exercise, improves the firing pattern of the barrage. So a PvP specific skill. Well, I mean, I guess it's, you get a barrage both, but oh, I gotta see what that barrage looks like. Oh, that is that is great. That is fantastic. Sweet. I might have to test that out. Unyielding shield. Well, this ship is afloat when one of your main fleet ships takes damage. 70% chance to decrease the damage your main fleet takes for 15 seconds. Uh, has a 20 second cooldown. Okay, I was going to be like, uh, I didn't see anything like that. Once per battle, when the ship drops below 20%, restore 10% of this ship's max health. So, we have a self-heal, kind of like a monarch self-heal from... So you get to, you get ten percent heal. That's not huge, because um, you can go from from like twenty. You can go from twenty five to zero pretty quick. But it's something that's like that's not bad. More healing, and then um, the fact that it has a chance to decrease the damage. Um that your opponents like or that when your main fleet takes damage the 70 percent proc is not great and the 20 second cooldown is bad but it does last for 15 seconds uh it doesn't say how much it decreases the damage though uh so we'll have to figure that one out ourselves but this barrage uh could be awesome it is a 70 70 percent chance to proc so yeah Awesome. All right, let's see. Let's let's keep going here. So here is the maintenance compensation, as always. Here is the shop. Okay, so these the Kinu and the Noshiro are the two um, ones that you can get from the event from just grinding. So even if I don't get enough luck with the Noshiro pull, I can at least get her here in the shop. Same with the Kinu. So I pulled one of the, the build exclusive ships already. Um, wow, okay, so the, the decisive rare blueprints here are twice as much. And, but how many can we get? What's our max? 10. We can only get 10. Wow. Okay. And, uh, okay. So pretty standard. We, these are finally updated into the English server. Ah, we got two new things. So we get the Christmas or oh, Christmas lucky bag has been there. Oh, this one's new. Okay. So we pull up, is this a random skin? What skins can we pull out of this? Uh, all the new ones. You can pull all the new skins, basically, including, like, the... Yeah, okay. Pretty much all the new ones. And then you get 2020 gems. Wow, better deal than the 2019 gems. You get two uh, DR blueprints. That's nice. And then just some 100 D car coins again. Oh, gosh. All right, that's actually not a bad deal. Um, oh, we got the two two for one uh, ring rings. Uh so get that uh i assume those are gonna go off but yeah if you uh if you have the 980 gems uh i don't yet but i yeah i don't have them yet but yeah get these this is a good deal uh, yeah and these are i think all old here yeah all right so we did the exchange or i'm sorry yeah we did the ex or we checked out the exchange we don't have any points yet uh we did the uh, build so let's look at the sortie here all right so we'll uh i'll click through this really quick all right so these are the new skins okay so we have a lot of ones that are 20 percent off oh i'm excited um the sakura empire one probably yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good ones. Yeah, wow. Okay. I mean, this one's not new. We'll we'll check out the new one. 
What's what's in the new one? This looks very similar to the Sakura Empire one. Ooh, okay. Maybe that's actually like something. Hmm. All right. Well, shall we build our shrine? I guess we shall. It's a one tap purchase. And it won't give us any any boost. That's sad. All right. Did it take oh there we go okay do we have any multiple buys so you can buy multiple of the foot pass so i will do that why not we're gonna oh i smart okay all right so we we picked up all of them so let's see what uh what they have in store for us to uh to see what what they would build for the theme we'll take a look at that uh, da, 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 shine all right set up let's see what we got all right let's see can we zoom out come on Um, it's not wanting me to zoom out here. What? Uh, okay, that's getting fin finicky. Sometimes it's a little hard to zoom out on the computer. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with this. Okay, so this is the do. Um, oh, we got the the octopus, the octopus, the okinawa. Okay, we got the shrine. All right, pretty new pretty good um so if you want this one pick this up if you want one of the other ones that are discounted that is great too all right so we're gonna see if we can get this barrage here now that we have her i just want to see uh we're playing somebody who's playing a pretty bad fleet and i took out the um amagi and nagato because i didn't want them to like completely just finish the whole the whole deal before i'm worried that the vanguard will just win early oh okay so here we go new new art <laughs> as well um so we'll see if we can pick up some of those while we're while we're playing here we'll see if she is good here all right uh don't get oh she got hit by a torpedo all right so she's got that sh the shield that that hits all right I just want her to do her barrage. Come on. Anti-air mode. Nice nice job, Juno. Knocking those... Oh! Oh, okay. That is the barrage. That is nice. Okay, that is a nice barrage. I don't know what it is in the main story, but that is that is actually a really nice barrage that is is useful. I mean, we'll, we'll have to figure out what the actual damage there is, but the, the coverage for that is is fantastic. So... Well, I think that's a wrap for our playthrough uh, on the server right away. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, if you guys want to support the channel, you can subscribe, you can comment, you can like, you can join the Discord and, and be a part of the, the, the creation process. You can follow on Twitter, or you can, I don't know, whatever you do on Reddit. You'll see me around on Reddit, maybe. Um, giving around some helpful tips hopefully so thank you guys for watching 